editing my earlier video, I just kept thinking to myself, God, I sound so weird. But I just dismissed it at that time saying that, yeah, I always sound weird in recordings. But why is that? Why do I not sound like how I usually sound like? In fact, why do I not sound like how I am sounding right now? It's kind of freaky, isn't it? I always assumed it has something to do with electronic playback. But turns out, that's not the case. Let's begin by thinking about how we hear sound. That's just one possible way, right? We speak, sound leaves our mouth and it enters our ears. That's it, pretty straightforward, right? But that's not all. When it comes to our own voices, and this is where it gets fun, we hear ourselves in not just one, but two different ways. The first method is what we just skimmed through. When we talk, we set the air around us vibrating. This vibrating air, which we call sound, then reaches our ears and sets the eardrum vibrating. The eardrum in turn vibrates three more bones inside our ear, and these vibrations eventually reach our brain and are perceived as sound. This is how we hear sound from other people or other sources. But when it comes to our own sound, there is another element in play. While we are talking, our vocal cords vibrate. And you can even feel this if you just put your hands over your throat while you're talking. Now these vibrations travel upwards and they vibrate our skull. They vibrate through our skull and eventually hit the eardrum from inside and set it into motion. Now while these notes are traveling through all the flesh and bone, they spread out evenly and this helps to transmitting lower frequencies better. Low frequencies means that the sound is much more deeper. So when we start talking, we can hear a combination of two different voices, the external air vibrations and the internal vibrations of the skull. The skull voice, as I like to call it, is far more deeper than the voice leaving our mouth. So while we are speaking, a major component of what we hear back is provided by the deeper skull voice. However, when other people hear us, they cannot hear our skull voice. All they can hear is the voice from the air vibrations. This is exactly what happens in recordings. Our skull voice cannot be recorded. So when we play it back, we just hear the part which is coming from our mouth and not the skull, which is why we sound so different to ourselves. But yes, that is really how we sound to other people. A fun way to isolate both the voices would be to do a small experiment by just recording yourselves. And while doing so, you can just cover your ears. Covering your ears will eliminate the air vibrations to enter your ears. And all you can hear during the recording is just your skull voice. And when you play it back, all you can hear is the air vibrations. I wish I could sound like this in all my videos. But this one's not too bad either, is it?